Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. As you all probably know, the Pyongyang Winter Olympics was kind of disrupted by malware. Today we're going to talk about that briefly and take a look at the malware sample involved. The reason why this malware is kind of interesting is because it bears a lot of characteristics of typical ransomware, which puts it right up my alley. However, there was no ransom involved and this was probably a targeted attack meant to purely disrupt the events and cause trouble. The malware seems to have multiple modules, one of which is a system credential stealer, the other being a pure destructor meant to delete shadows, typical ransomware stuff, VSS admin, and additionally it also disables certain services on the system, making it unusable. Many are claiming that the ransomware originates from Russia. It is not clear whether that means the Russian government or um, any random people in Russia. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who do you think was behind this malware attack? Because I'm kind of torn between the possibilities here. Now, unlike most of the ransomware that you see on TPSC, this malware is not going to create any commotion or show any fancy ransom message. It's not a ransomware, it's a wiper malware. It's meant to create effect, not for show. The analysis is going to be a little bit boring. You'll have to stick with me for that. But before we go ahead and run it, I'm going to show you some of the strings that the executable has. And you can clearly see that this is up to something with Pyongyang 2018. It seems to have specific admin related strings, which suggests that it has something to do with the site. I believe it did take down the site. So that is definitely one of its uh, operations. If we scroll down, you can again see um, there are a lot of website admin related strings over here. But keep in mind, this is also kind of like the master executable. So a lot of this stuff is actually going to be unpacked and run separately, which we will see in a moment. Before I run it though, I want to look at a few things. We're not gonna see any messages on the screen. So we'll have to set up some tools to be actually able to figure out what's going on. I'm starting up Procmon, which should help us out with that. We'll first have to configure it though, to get rid of a lot of this noise. For this particular execution, I'm going to set up some very specific filters. We're only going to look at the processes being created and destroyed. So we'll select operation and we will include process create. We will also include process start. And as you can see, this is a lot cleaner and easier to read now. I'm going to clear this up and then run the actual executable and we'll see what events are registered over here. As you can see, we do have a ton of stuff coming up immediately. And if we expand on some of this, you will notice we do have the vssadmin.exe, delete shadows, all quiet. This is a typical instruction you see in a lot of ransomware samples. And that is also part of this wiper malware. Now the process names are kind of randomized. I noticed that the process names seem to change every time I execute. Now if we press control T, we can see the tree view. And this makes it a lot easier to see what happens. So Olympic Wiper first executed, then started a new process, then another one, and then it spawned command prompt. And then, of course, used VSS admin to go ahead and perform this operation. And these are all the basic, um, you know, tasks that were performed one after the other, all of them carried out by this process, whose name seems to change every time it is executed. Now, if we look at the directory, it is located in users, app data, local temp, and it does write all the different modules of the malware into that directory. So if we go ahead and open the folder, you will see a lot of files here. So all of these were created by the malware when it was executed, and these are the different modules. If you're interested, you can check it out in this wonderful analysis blog by Cisco Talos. Or you can check out an additional video that I'll link in the description by Colin Hardy, who seems to have made a very exhaustive analysis of this particular threat. However, I hope this video gives you some insight as to how certain malware operates and also as to what exactly happened with the Winter Olympics. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to provide any of the grand answers, like whether or not this was conducted by Russians. So I'm just looking forward to know what you guys think in the comments. Please like and share if you enjoyed the video. This is Leo from the PC Security channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, 
Stay informed, stay secure.